say I make you nervous A tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster A reckoning, you wonder how I got this way You think I'm someone to be saved Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Never change You think I would look pretty on your arm Once you cover up my bruises and battle scars But it always ends the same This is Sims Fell, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Finding Mermaid. Who is this angry man over here? Well, he is Shimmer's new husband. They got married in the previous episode. Another mermaid, or a merman he is. His name is Ukaponipo, and I think Hekakia. Yeah, there we go. Complicated name, but I think I just have it. Almost. Probably. I'll learn over time. It's fine. But... He's looking a bit frustrated right now just because there's kind of like a pool of water on the floor and he has to clean that up. But anyways, I think it's around 8 p.m. at night. The wedding just wrapped up. He's moved in and I think he's getting settled, pretty much already settled. He's had a change of clothes, so I think he's fine. <laughs> but anyway, Shima's off to bed, I think, or sleeping because the energy is really low. But it's also her birthday, so we can't let her just go to sleep like that. So Uka Panapo is going to quickly sweep the floors and be a good man. And then he's going to go bake a cake for his beautiful wife, and they're going to celebrate together. And I'm excited to get on the way, guys. So excited. Okay. <clears throat> Okapanipo, let's go. Let's mop this up, boy. Look at him. His needs are amazing. <sighs> By the way, I did give him a little bit of a makeover. I'm happy with what he looks like now. It's a bit less crazy and funky like he was before. I mean, a lot of his outfits still kind of all over the place. They don't have a theme, but that's fine. <laughs> Let me just show you. There we go. These are all his outfits. As you can see, I've tried to keep them very aerated, islander-ish, and uh, I've kept some of the stuff that he had previously, like his formal wear, and I think his um, athletic wear, but apart from that, I've gone ahead and changed a few things up to suit his mermaid form a lot more. Ah, okay, now go bake a cake, my boy. Go bake a cake. He's gonna go cook a cake. I like chocolate cake, I think. Chocolate cake's nice. And now that we have two sims, I will try putting in two whims to get done because I think that'll be pretty fun. Obviously, we're going to um, prioritize. I was like, what's the word? Prioritize the needs or the whims with each other. So he wants to kiss Shimmer. Of course he does. I'll have to wait until Shima wakes up, but she's getting a little bit of her energy up. Hopefully it's up by the time he's done cooking and they can celebrate together. She's going to be turning into an adult. Uh, he's already an adult, but only just. Look at that. He has got 23 days to go. And they need to get to baby making pretty soon and grow their family, grow their pod. She needs to grow her pod. But um, yeah, they don't have a lot of time, so I'm hoping they'll be able to, you know, grow their family, have some mermaid children before they're old and done. That's going to be so sad. But I'm also hoping, oh my goodness, this is so creepy. Zoe Patel. Zoe Patel, what are you doing? Look at her. What are you doing? Go back home. You don't belong. Okay. Well, let's jump back to him. Oh, the cake's done? Exciting. Well, let's add birthday candles. And I think we will go ahead, probably lock this for everyone but household members. So, because we don't want anyone getting it. Thank you very much. We don't want anyone getting it. Oh, look, he's prepared a birthday cake. Isn't that sweet? Oh, it's so nice. Okay, we're going to wake up Shimmer. I think she's feeling a little bit better. Oh, she needs hydration. Okay, she's going to quickly grab some water to drink. Go grab some water. That's going to get your hydration up. And she wants to get to know Fertu and apologize to Aleki. I think getting to know Fertu is a lot better. So, yeah, we'll do that. That's interesting. He's just swooning over her. She, on the other hand, doesn't really have any thoughts for him right now. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. We'll wait for him or her to get hydrated. If only just. And then, he's so sweet. I'm so happy they're together now. Look at him. He's so excited. He's so excited. He did bring in like 20,000 simoleons though, so I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Okay. Oh, he's having cake. Why are you having cake? Do you just like cake? By the way, he looks so evil, so I thought he was just perfect for it, and I still do. But he has no mean traits. Look at his traits, guys. We went through this at the end of the previous episode, but he's a glutton. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was like, why is he eating so much? He's a glutton, self-assured, and child of the islands. At least they connect. 
on one level with that uh, Trial of the Islands. That's pretty cool. But let's see. Oh, geez. She's going to use, use the bathroom. What? That didn't help. That didn't help. Okay, well, she's not too hydrated. Can you go take, like, a quick bath? I think she's going to go... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Use the... Jeez, Louise. <laughs> Use that. Take a bath so that you're in a better mood. I don't want you to be cranky or anything. Aleki is going to... It's flipping good that he's got, like, a... What is it? High metabolism? Yeah, because he eats so much. Jeez, okay. What's his uh, aspiration? Oh, he also has this aspiration. Wait a second. What's the... Hold on a second. Hold on a second, everyone. What's... Oh, no, I'm on Shimmer. Jeez. Whoopsies, my bad. No, but he's got that as well. No, that's not what I want. You guys know what I want, right? Wait, what do you get with this? Um, laid back. Yeah, okay, but why does he have the, the fitness thing? Is that what Shimmer has? Look at her and her beautiful tail. Don't be shocked. You knew she was a mermaid. That's how you guys met. <laughs> He's probably shocked, like, oh my goodness, she's so beautiful. Okay, well, she's getting tired again. I want to blow out this cake before she gets too tired, and I want to celebrate before heading off to bed. But okay, I also want to quickly see... What, does she have high metabolism too? No, she has home turf. He has home turf, but he also has high metabolism. Huh. From an athletic aspiration. Has he completed an athletic aspiration? What? Let's go and check. Where's the athletic one? Athletic. He hasn't, but he has the... That's interesting. Well, I don't know how you got it, sir, but I am grateful. I am grateful that you do have that. Okay, Shiva. You done, honey? You done? We'll rush on a little bit. You good now? How's the job going? Okay, she... Oh, yeah, she's back to work today. As soon as she wakes up, she's back to work. Which is fine. And I'm starting to think we can send her to work probably now. I think I'll start sending her to work so that we can work <laughs> on Ukapanipo over here and do some stuff with him. I don't know what he wants to do just yet, but we'll figure something out. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's scary. Well, we have money to replace that and I feel happy. But let's come here. She is going to brighten his day. He is going to give her a nice kiss and let her know that, oh look, I made your birthday cake. Go on, honey, blow it out. Actually, we probably shouldn't be wasting time. She's ready to age up. Like, she's well and ready. You know what? Go blow out the candles and then we'll give you a kiss. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, no, not now. No, 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 no. Not anymore. Not right now. Go blow out the candles. Ah, okay. We'll deal with the, the wedding stuff outside at a later point. I don't mind keeping it around. I was going to sell it before because we were in need of money, but I think we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, especially all the moolah he brought in. Here you go. Oh, this is so exciting. Look at him. He's cheering her on. Oh, this is so nice. She's an adult. Yay. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, she's an adult now. They're both adults. And you don't want cake, so put that away. We'll get Aleki to just quickly use the bathroom, and then he'll give you a kiss. And I think you guys can get something started in the bedroom. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and... Kiss. There we go. So at least he can get his little whim done. Oh, this is so nice. I never thought I'd see the day when Shima was married and she had significant other. I thought she would be just, not a hermit, what was it? Uh, like an old hag, that's what I thought. I thought she'd just age up, be, in, be a cranky old woman, become like one of those island witches. That's what I thought for her. But apparently that's not the case, everyone. She's found someone, unexpectedly, but she has found someone and I'm very happy for her. Okay, there we go, he's happy. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, they're going to go ahead, guys, and expand their family. Oh, oh, 
this is so exciting. This is so exciting. I can't wait to see her pod expand. And obviously Uka Panapo doesn't have a pod of his own, so he is a little bit of an outsider, probably an outcast in mermaid society. And I don't know why he was outcasted. Maybe he's an orphan merman. I don't know. But something obviously um, went wrong at some stage somewhere in his life. And as a result, he either got kicked out or he was just born out. Maybe he was born to an outcast and therefore he didn't gain entry into a pot of his own and he's just been an outsider ever since. I don't know. But these are all things we can learn and figure out. Oh, can we? Why is it every time we have to set a trap? For a second I was like, oh my goodness, it's a whale. It's not. It's a, it's a little floaty. Floaty thing. Which you, they're going to head off to bed in a little bit. And I think what I'm going to do is send Shimmer to work tomorrow instead of working from home, which is what we have been doing, so we can focus on Aleki. He's not too tired, but go to sleep. You are going to go to sleep. Oh, ah. Okay, so it was both their first woohoos. That's nice. Okay guys, well, I will be back with you all when they have woken up and they are in a better mood. So see you guys in a sec. Okay, Shim has gone off to work and Okapanapo is about to show you his merman stuff. Oh, oh my goodness, that creeps me out so much. Seriously, that creeps me out so much all the time when their legs become all like wobbly and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, doesn't his tail look so cool? He looks so badass as a mermaid. Honestly, it was love at first sight. Yeah, it on honestly was. He looks so badass, I could not say no. Just Shimmer just fell in love with him. I mean, she was intrigued by him for sure, and things went from one to the next. But he kind of, kind of proved himself to her. So I think she's really happy because she's with someone who understands the ins and outs of what's happening. And once he's done his hydration, he's probably going to eat some cake. <laughs> I'm sure he enjoys that. And then... Um, I'm probably going to see what we can get done with him. Maybe work on some stuff, see what he can find. He could join the fishing career. I don't know, we'll have to have a look at some career options for him and see what we can get done. I mean, we're not killing for money, but it would just be nice to have something to be able to do in our spare time and also we'll be able to progress for a lot more things. And it would be so much more helpful now to actually... Um, have like market days. Maybe whenever Shim is off, they can have market days. Like that would be so cool. He can help out with all of this, the stalls. Maybe he can hold the stalls in the afternoon. I don't know, but that would all be so much fun. Okay, he's gonna be done pretty soon. GeekCon, go out of the way. Go out of the way. Go out of the way, go away. What am I saying? You guys know what I'm saying. I'm saying something. Oh geez, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. He wants to go have some chocolate cake. That's fine. Go grab yourself some chocolate cake. It's exciting. And also, slowly but surely, we will be, now that we have money, actually putting more stuff in her home over here and doing upgrades. I don't know exactly what we're going to fit in, but we'll find some pretty cute stuff and we'll start, yeah, decorating this place a lot more. I kind of really like this setup outside. <laughs> I kind of really do. It looks so cute. I don't want to get rid of it. I really don't. I kind of really like this setup we have going on. But I'll have to see what we get done with it. I might put it in the family inventory and change it up a little bit. Probably sell the plants off. I mean, I don't see why. Maybe we'll repurpose some of them, but I don't see us keeping all of them. Probably sell them off. We don't really need that many plants all over the place. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Okay, okay, Panapo, let's clean this up. And I actually need you to see if you can maybe join a career. Where is this at? So what's the difference in finding odd jobs? What does that do? Is that like part-time work? Is that what it means? What does odd jobs mean? I haven't ever worked with that. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. What? Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. I love this. I haven't even played around with this at all. Oh my goodness. I know what I'm going to be doing with Luca Panapo. Looking to make a few extra simoleons on the side. Want to do work on your time? Odd Jobs offers the opportunity to choose your own schedule and meet local sims. Sign up for an odd job today. So we have 
Oh, quite a few to choose from. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, let's see. We have photos for publication. Oh, and it even says the recommended skill levels. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, uh, wanted, dumb or discreet, <laughs> mahi mahi of my own, paid beach cleaning, volunteer work, TV hookup help, and uh, moving furniture. Okay, now this one apparently, the paid beach cleaning, volunteer work, doesn't need any skill. So what's this? The island of Solani is looking for paid volunteers who are willing to clean various beaches around the island. Must be capable of carrying up to 20, okay, wait, and walking for hours at a time. Let's keep our island beautiful and safe. That seems pretty fun, but we have done some beach cleaning. I mean, we get paid for it, though. We do get paid for it. Hmm. What else do we have around the place? The moving furniture sounds exciting. Ooh, I like the jobs that begin ASAP. Yeah, okay. So it's 24 simoleons per hour. I want to move some heavy furniture into storage. Or should I say, I want you to move some heavy furniture into storage. I think he's got really high fitness, so I think I'll go for this. And we'll see how that works. Um, starts at 12 p.m. Oh, so does he just head off to work then? That's fascinating. That is so cool. That is so cool. I definitely feel like, yeah. That seems like something he would do. I don't know, we'll see how this works out. We might even go into something else. I'll have a look and see what fits best, but oh my goodness, stop eating so much. I just realized he's eating for no reason. I mean, okay, you're a little hungry, you can eat. He was a little hungry, that's fine. But seriously, don't overeat. No, you don't need to eat anymore. Throw that away, please. And he's off to work, I think, okay. And that's how it goes. He goes off and does his odd job. Fascinating. And I don't know how long that takes. Okay, Ukapanapo is off to work. Interesting. So it's pretty much like a rabbit hole. You go off and you do work. But it's only um, like one time. You, it's not like you go back the same time every day. That's fascinating. Okay, Shiv is back from work. And uh, now that she is, oh, she's thinking about babies. Could she be pregnant? I don't know. We haven't checked yet. Also, she wants to get to know Fetu, so we might invite him over in a second. But I feel like we should go take a pregnancy test and see whether or not she is a mermaid. And is a mermaid? <laughs> Am I serious? Whether or not she's pregnant, that's what I meant. Sorry. Whoopsies. Let's have a look. I think she is. Because she had the little... The speech bubble. <gasps> yes, she is. Oh, how exciting. How exciting. Congratulations. She was expecting there's going to be a new addition to this household. The baby's no doubt going to be a mermaid because I'm pretty sure it's 50% per parent. Okay, why don't you go take a bath? There we go. You can go take a bath. That looks so terrifying. That looks so flippant terrifying. And I wonder if she goes in the water, can you see the bump? I'm just really curious about that. And she needs to eat, so she's gonna go um, have some cake, have some nice cake, and probably invite over Fetu so that she can, oh darn it, she really wanted to get to know him. Can we invite him over? I think he's somewhere in the area. Oh, look, he's back, he's back. Okapanipo's back. Okay, let's see what it says. Well, look there, it's Ukapanipo Muscles Hekakia. Gravity didn't stand a chance with the way he lifted that furniture and placed it in storage like they were hamsters or something small. Anyways, the client was super pleased by how quickly and carefully Ukapanipo got the work done. She'll be dishing out a nice bonus payment. We got $9 for a tip. Nice, and 96 simoleons. Okay, he really needs to use the bathroom. By the way, maybe you should tell him that he's about to be a father now. This is going to be very exciting. <gasps> very exciting. Okay. Seriously, why does she... Kalama? Hmm. I don't know, Kalama. Ooh, Kalama's old. Kalama's old. We need to sell her off pretty quick, guys. We need to sell her off soon. She's getting old, and I'm pretty sure the value of these mermaid prisoners drops with age. I'm fairly sure that's a thing. Okay. It looks like we're not going to be able to get Shimmer's thing done just yet. Oh my goodness. You broke the toilet. Huh. But yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get her little whim done this episode, but that's fine. I can work on it some other time. Are you done, honey? Are you done? 
Yeah, I think you're having too much fun. <laughs> you're having too much fun. Okay, let's uh, let him know. Share the big news. Let's go share the big news. Let him know. I'm pretty sure he can see it. Bump is pretty obvious. Regardless, do let him know, please. Go on. Tell him. Tell him already. I mean, he's, he's, he's blind if he can't see, but still. Oh. Is he excited? I can't tell with this. Yeah, he looks excited. Oh. Okay, so he's got light brown hair, green eyes. She has got blue eyes and dark brown hair. So I'm going to be very curious to see what their child ends up looking like. But also, I don't know if they're going to have one child, the twins, the triplets. Regardless, I'm very excited. Anyways, guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.